Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. Um, this time we are going to present our discussion about the collapse of Kutai Kartanegara Bridge. Before we start the presentation, we are going to introduce ourselves. My name is Anissa Rizkiwinardi, number three, and my partner is Rizka Amole Dewantari, number 22. And today we're going to talk about the three topics. Well, the first topic we're going to talk about is the description of Kutai Katanegara Bridge. And the second one is why the Kutai Katanegara Bridge collapsed. And last but not least, we're going to talk about how to prevent the same accident on the bridge. So without any further ado, let's get started to the first topics that is description of Kutai Katanegara Bridge itself. Okay. The description Name of the bridge, Kutai Kartanegara Bridge, Kutai Karta, Kartanegara in Marta Dipura, also known as Kartanegara Bridge. Location of bridge, location of Kartanegara Bridge was a bridge that crosses the Mahakram River that located in East Kalimantan province. Length of the bridge, the 710 meter long bridge link the town of Tengaro and Samarinda. This bridge starts to build on August 17, 1995, and the construction and in 2001. Design of the bridge. This construction of the bridge is a suspension bridge design. The design resembles the Golden Gate Bridge, located in San Francisco, USA. Okay, next. This is our pictures of the collapsed bridge. As we can see on this slide, there are two pictures that told us how tragic the collapsed bridge was. And also we can see the remaining part of Kutai Negara Bridge structure. This accident happened 10 years ago, and the exact time was on November 26 in 2011. This accident happened while the worker were maintaining the suspension bridge. Because of this collapse, at least 20 people killed and the remaining were injured. Based on the article we read, we concluded that there were three main things that made the suspension bridge, which crossed the Mahakam River, collapsed. Okay, cause of collapse of Kota Kartanegara Bridge. The first, there, there were some defects to the bridge. Several things had defects in it. These things led to major damage that caused the bridge collapse. These things were crack, corrosions, and defects in some parts. And the second, there was a lack of maintenance on the bridge on this bridge. Maintenance is one of the crucial aspects of construction. Complete buildings will be in full possession of the owner and the owner incumbent on maintenance to keep the building sturdy and good. Unfortunately, the maintenance it ran was not well managed. Furthermore, since the beginning of the bridge plan, maintenance was not well planned. And the third, the support cable snap. As we said before, this accident happened during maintenance on the bridge. The workers were maintenance one of the support cables. Unfortunately, again, the support cables snapped that caused the other cables to overload. All of the support cables did not bear the load well, so that the bridge collapsed in just less than a minute. The snap happened on the 13th cable located in the middle of the span. And the last one. The last one we're going to talk about is how to prevent the collapse. The tragic accident may have a much impact on the citizen of Indonesia, especially in East Kalimantan citizens. So we must take action to prevent the same accident happen in the future. Here are things that may prevent 
the accident happened again. The first thing is maintenance. As we said before, this accident happened because of some defects in its construction. So with the great maintenance, and the maintenance should be done at least one year, once a year, with the risk of the major accident can be avoided. And the last thing is do some tests on the bridge. So the contractor, so the contractor must do some tests such as shear test, haptic test, and the other test. And thank you so much for your attention. And we're really, really sorry for every mistake that we've made during our presentation. And thank you very much. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.